Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the CD Guy, Johnny Z here. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Judas Priest single, Panic Attack. Friday morning, and the Priest is back with their first single in five years. This is the follow-up to Firepower from 2018, and it's the lead single for their upcoming record, The Invincible Shield, which will be out March 8th, 2024. Very exciting stuff. Great to have some new Priest and personnel on this track. Of course, you have Rob Halford on lead vocals, on guitars, Glenn Tipton, Andy Sneap, and Richie Faulkner. On the bass, you have Ian Hill, and on the drums, Scott Travis. Okay, let's get into the song itself here. The intro is very synth-heavy, you know, which caught me off guard. Reminded me a little bit of the Ram It Down era, you know, similarly similar vibes, I think, to Blood Red Skies right away, but then it transitions into a more recognizable modern-day priest sound with a killer riff, and I think the instrumentation on this track is fantastic, you know, from the great harmony guitar work to some killer drum work by Scott Travis as well, and of course Rob Halford on lead vocal sounds incredible here, still able to belt it out like few can with a total earworm of a chorus, which, you know, in my opinion, wouldn't stand out of place on an album like War of Words by Fight, which was an interesting observation that I made there. Very uh, unique track, I think, in the sense that the chorus sounds very much like something Halford did with Fight, but other aspects of the track sound like they could have come from any other era in Judas Priest history, so you definitely get kind of this hybrid here of, you know, Painkiller meets Fight meets Ram It Down meets Firepower in something that's really interesting, in my opinion. The guitar solo here is fantastic by Richie Faulkner, and, you know, when I saw them live last year, I definitely felt like something was missing in K.K. Downing's absence from the band, but that's not at all because of Richie, who I think is generally a very underrated uh, live player, which I think translates very well into the studio here, so some great soloing throughout. Priest had hinted that their next studio album was going to be more progressive, and while I don't necessarily get a proggy impression from this track, I'm loving a lot of the callbacks to the band's past work, like I said before. Panic Attack hits me again as sort of kind of a painkiller meets uh, firepower type of track, which I really enjoyed, and it's got great production as well by Andy Sneap, and a lot of great live potential, I think, to be a standout live track. It definitely gets me excited for the new record here, Invincible Shield. I'll be reviewing that here on the channel. This is your number one destination for Invincible Shield coverage, so definitely want to turn on the notification bell for that. And uh, again, I'll be covering all things New Judas Priest as we get closer to that new record. Very exciting stuff. First New Judas Priest record and new music from Priest since Firepower from 2018. I think it's a heavy, raging track. I love the chorus, right? A lot of uh, really uh, heavy urgency displayed in this song, which I enjoyed quite a bit. And, you know, again, is it as proggy as maybe, you know, they would have let on because, again, they did talk about this album being more progressive? Not really, but not every Priest single is indicative of the rest of the record here. But from what I heard so far, I'm very much excited for this new album. And um, it's uh, exciting stuff. You know, we got KK's Priest doing some fantastic work and now Judas Priest as well. So there's definitely got to be some sort of an unspoken competition there. But uh, what we have is two great uh, bands. You want to call them sub versions of Judas Priest, whatever you want to call them, putting out some great work. So I think, you know, the more the better, right? So awesome stuff here by Judas Priest, Panic Attack, killer new single. I enjoy it and cannot wait for the new record. So that wraps up this brief review of the new Judas Priest single, Panic Attack. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below so I don't have a panic attack. We are uh, getting very close to 2,000 subscribers here on the channel, so every subscriber counts. Thank you all so much. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, it was a huge week last week with Power Trip coverage. Uh, of course, I talked a little bit about Judas Priest that weekend as well. Priests were there, so busy stuff last week. And now, of course, today, the new Judas Priest single out, sharing my thoughts. Uh, be sure to turn on the bell for notifications, like I said, because I will be covering all things Invincible Shield as we get closer to the release date. And uh, let me know down in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on the new single by Priest? We have a poll over in the community tab where you can share your thoughts there as well. So definitely go ahead and check that out. And until next time, it's the CD Guy, Johnny Z, signing off. Take care, everybody.